What's up? This is the Relation Shop where we give oh, marriage yeah. advice yeah. to help refresh, <laughs> rebuild, or restore your marriage. So we got you. I'm Toya and I have Eric. What's up? And Jason. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. Up? Yes. You notice, uh, you notice like one of us has water and two huh. of us don't. <laughs> So it looks not, like man sharing who management again. Yeah. Right. So it, did your entourage started. bring you that? That is so funny. I brought my own water did today. You? Huh. It was in the car. I like so that. I had to go so get we it. clearly don't have any sponsorships. We are not doing that. Empty. We right. are not doing that. Not today. Huh. Not I think today. we need a water sponsorship. I'm going to work on a water sponsorship. Yeah. We did it. Brought to you by. Some can't water say. Yeah, can't yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Can't I'm say. Not trying point. to give away free stuff. Right. Can't give away free stuff. I need some water bottles. I'm going to work on that. Work on that. Producer. Get on that. <laughs> Work on that. Yeah. Uh, but today we are getting into something. Is your marriage built to outlast the kids? Is mm. your marriage? My, my, <laughs> my marriage is not built to built to withstand the kids, <laughs> right. let alone outlast. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're almost there. Are we you? almost outlasted. Okay. Yeah. Last That's one true. going to college. Oh, yeah. You too. I, I mean, what? I don't know if that counts, dude. What in the count? Because this is the second one. Second what? Marriage. Oh yeah, that counts. Oh. Yeah, you you didn't. Well, you only no, had to outlast. The first marriage season. didn't outlast <laughs> See, that, my first wife. Right. So it wasn't. No, the I'm kid. just saying. It's there's still, the, but okay. So he's just gonna look at this mm, marriage though. It's fine. So yeah. So, so this that, one is. is that a typical counseling technique to, yeah. to diminish shame, the rules? It's, exactly. It's shame shame the other first person. and then help heal. It's <laughs> my, <laughs> my method. Oh my I guess that works. No, no. The reason I was saying is that because it's tough in different seasons, right? Yeah. I mean, you've yeah. been through all the seasons yeah, yeah. of parenting in marriage. Right. right? Plus, you. I, so I'll give you kudos now since right. I cut you down. <laughs> all right. You also have outlasted blended family yeah. parenting, which I mean, is a whole different deal. Yeah, honestly, this one was harder. Yeah. The parenting part of it was harder now than it was yeah, in the first marriage. You're the bonus dad now. And well, so, not just the bonus dad, but the regular dad, not true. much help. So, so you got to navigate. So it was extra, yeah. yeah. So, so it threw a lot so of stuff. So see how up. I did that? See how I came back around <laughs> Appreciate and brought you. encouragement? Not bad. That's, That's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now we know. So what That's do we need to think about? Well, well, first, listen to this. <laughs> okay. Statistics tell us okay. that marital satisfaction drops like 43% at the birth of the first child. Like if you've ever seen a, huh. a graph, they'll show you like marital satisfaction. It'll be like kid. Wow. All the way down. So just know. Mm. Don't have kids. If you're having a kid. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> if you want a good marriage, don't right. have kids. There you go. We're done. It's a wrap. Thank you for listening today. This has been good. <laughs> yeah. No, it just does. Right. Cause you, Makes sense. And it's the obvious stuff. Mm -hmm. But it does drop. Sure. Yeah. 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 So That's you got to be intentional. Yeah. Now, does number two drop it even further? Or is it, it does. Just, nope. Not not exponentially. Not like the same. So it's not like 43 and then 43 more. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, yeah. then you're in a deficit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Because, yeah, once you've already got like this sucks. Once you're tired, you're adding, tired. Yeah. It's like sucks a little it's more. It's the, yeah. the same. More of the same. Like, same. Gotcha. Same suck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very encouraging. So Thank what you. do we do then? Well, but let me let me break that down, though, because I like what you said, because there might be sis might be listening and she doesn't have kids just yet. So she's kind of thinking about it. Right. All right. So I, mean, I guess more. <laughs> with, but with the first kid, it's like, number one, you could be dealing with um, postpartum. Right. Okay. You could be dealing with just the uh, just not feeling like yourself because your body looks different. Um, it could be now adding in the responsibilities of a baby. So you're tired more. You're up all night. Babies aren't sleeping. And then as the kid gets older, it's like all the activity, school, daycare mm -hmm. and everything. Right. So now more and more your husband is getting getting pushed away like kid, baby, baby needs me, you know, or needs us. So. In fact, I think the I think we did a episode on marriage killers and children was one, that of, was yep. one yep. of them. We had like calendar children mm -hmm. comparison, yep. stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just mm. don't have kids. There you go. But should you have kids? It's How do you, do you build do? a marriage that outlasts the kids? Oh, yeah. How do you build a marriage? Tell us. Well, I have a few Real, little things. Really? But... Why don't we teach you? Oh, okay. Jason, oh, okay. Are, we're yes. on the tail end. That's true. You are. Right? That's you true. Are. Both yeah, of yeah. us, the yeah. youngest in our families, are 18. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yep. any questions for us? All right. <laughs> You're so welcome. What? We will tell you everything you need to know. All right. So, as of now, Mason is eight. So, yeah, yeah we, we're there, but he's not, you know, getting too busy just yet. 
So what would you say at this stage? What do we need to do when we like right now we have date nights and all that. So okay. but again, Mason is not as busy just yet. So how do we kind of stay on track? I, I recommend uh, ghost hunting. Yeah, oh, I would. Right. I would definitely Jason's do that. Fa- Jason's favorite thing to do. You, you're not going to get You get an yeah. amen from me. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, wait yeah, a yeah. minute. Yeah. Don't you do this alone? Does ghost Lisa hunting? go? No. No. Uh, no, she doesn't. But no, wait a minute. Go. Okay. She's but, all threatened me that if I bring something home, that I'm out. I anyway, don't blame so. her. If you ever so maybe do a show spirit back. You just went recently. Yeah. yeah. Just How last week. How, How did it go? Let's take a quick detour. A little detour. No, it was good. That was a good one. It was a two dayer. Two-dayer. Oh, Two-dayer. It was in Virginia City, Nevada. So the town. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a state city in another state. Why not? Like yeah, yeah. That. yeah. Nah, it, it, it's an 1800 town. They were built in the 1800s. Mm-hmm. And it's exactly the same. But it's active town as far as like there's restaurant stuff, people act. So it's not like okay. a ghost town. It's not a ghost town. Not a ghost town. So, yeah. So we get there Friday night. Mm-hmm. We're sitting there powwowing a little bit. And he's been there, Nick, the guy I go with. He's been there a few times. And so he, uh, we're sitting there, and everybody knows him in the town, right? So the sheriff comes in and his deputy and says, hey, we just got a 911 call from here. And we're just laughing because, you know, he's messing with him. He's like, no, seriously, we got a 911 call from this church, and there was just static on the other end. So that's how it started. Oh, so you quickly ran into it. So, this so is we were like, okay. all right, now it's starting a little bit. Wow. So we powwowed that and came back Saturday. And then Saturday we went back to the church first because he had never done to the church. And so it's got a loft. It's got the regular level. And then it's got a basement. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going down to the basement. So the basement staircase is like really narrow. Of course so it old, is. old wood and staircase. Dark. Oh, yeah, there's cobwebs. Of course it is. It dark. It's a basement. Step. It's a basement. Yeah. So... So I go down there and somebody's coming up. So I wait at the top. So because it's two no people, room. two people okay. can't. Yeah, was but it a real person or a ghost? Nobody came up. Just footsteps on the oh on the staircase. Right. So that's why I went down there. Nobody and there. And you went after you and heard I went. footsteps. No, of course I went. That's what I'm there for. <laughs> okay, He's what a ghost I do. Hunter. That's what I do. So was the whole two days for the church? No, no, no. There were four buildings. Mm. Okay, four buildings. There was a church. There was a club called the Wasso Club, which was started for upper end people like so these are all active though like people use the church well, for church or no? uh, these all well empty? no that the, the church isn't active really it's more of a historical the the oh, okay. church the new church is right beside it oh, okay oh. the washoe club is active downstairs but we did upstairs where it's no. a, nothing there the and ghosts then, are active up there and then we did one building so this is a cool this is why i really like it because i like history uh-huh. so we did one that was owned by um Samuel Clemens. You know who that is? No. Nope. Come on. Oh, dude. Help him out. Yeah. Come no. on. We weren't born in 1882. Really? Like, you. Uh-uh, dude. like maybe some Huck yeah. Finn writing, you know? No. You, you never read Huck Finn? I read uh, nonfiction. Man. <laughs> really? Come on. You read Huck Finn. I've heard of Huck Help Finn. Help him out. I've heard of Huck Finn. Yeah, come on. No one <laughs> You really? Hey, dude, you can keep reaching to the really? audience all day. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, like, what but the schools did is, you guys go no, to? No, you don't know who Samuel Clemens well, and Huck Finn you. are either. You'll have to figure it out. That's just sad. That's oh, really great. sad. Anyway, so anyway there's he owned this... the building. His stuff was still there. All okay. his original stuff was there. So that's cool. There's a lot of yeah. historical stuff. So yes, there were other things that happened. Recording, stuff like that. Somebody got scratched. You know, stuff like that. Like a visible scratch? Visible scratch, really, yeah. Really, from, yep. from the ghost of nowhere. That, that was... Long nail. Mm. Does that Samuel was, Clemens that, known for his long nails? <laughs> no? Oh, my. That was... Um, that was in the Washoe Club, so that was oh, okay. Nick's wife that got scratched. Oh, yeah. When you're dancing at the club, you're going to get scratched wow. a little bit, okay. so, especially with ghosts. Anyway, so there you go. That was my crazy. Trip. Okay, All so right. takeaway, you experienced the footsteps, and then somebody got scratched. There you go. That, that's what that's happened on the two days. Yeah. So, but that's not how you build a marriage that outlasts the kids. No? No. Um, that's how you stay not, married. Not exactly. No? No. Mm, that's, okay. Well, no, true. Time apart there you would go. be helpful. There you go. There you um, go. So you don't feel overwhelmed By the way, and suffocated. Mark Twain is who Samuel Clemens. Okay. Mark Twain. That's oh, that's pretty... his real name? Yeah. Come oh, on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know people's names. Anyway, I carry mean, on. I know Muhammad Ali and Cassius Clay, you know. Right. Yeah. Chris Chris Jackson. Mm-hmm. Used to be Chris Jackson. Yeah, Satoya, save us here. On these kids. How do we keep a marriage? Yeah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> how, do, how, do, right. how do me and Ahmad just stay? How do you do it? Yes, intentional. So I w- let, let me say this. I think there's two parts to it. 
I think one part is intentionality around the marriage. Okay. Okay. And the other part is minimizing division and conflict around parenting. Mm. I think those are the two things we got to juggle. Okay. Because mm. it's easy to have different parenting styles. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You probably have different style than Lisa. Yes. Jill and I have different styles. Yeah. Perspectives. True. Approaches. Right. Do not agree. Do you guys? Uh, you yeah. guys on board the same? But you know, you know what we They're do? They're still in the easy phase. Yeah. You don't really notice your parenting differences when your kids are young. It's do when you they notice start any now? So if you notice some now. Well, that's teens, what I was going to say. Like, now we got some differences. Because Mason True. is a boy. I have to tell myself to kind of step back a little bit more because Ahmad is like, nope, this is a boy. He's going to be a man. Don't soften him up. So then yeah. I've learned to already to just be like, okay, let me, even though I want to be like, oh, but then I'm like, oh, no, no, let me step back. Yeah, quit babying him, man. I step back. Let him get dirty. I step back. Okay. So we solved that one. Yeah. You mm -hmm. see what happens when you get babied as a kid? But, uh, yeah. Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> yes, you. Uh, I was like, I was going to so, agree. So, yeah, the habit, talking is about the, mod. the habit is here. The habit is here. So I, I so, step okay. back. Okay. That's the easy right. thing Yeah. To do. So I think you got to consider both, both of those sides of how do we prioritize and how do we minimize the chances for conflict mm -hmm. and uh, eliminate division? Because kids are divisive. Mm -hmm. They'll play. They'll try to play you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Each other. Yep. And it does get worse when they get older. Yeah, yeah I'm not master there yet. that. No, they get yeah. they get they get more strategic. So even yeah. even uh, you know the Gottmans who have done all kinds of marriage research, mm -hmm. right? They they follow couples and found that like two thirds of couples reported a decline for up to three years after. So not just that okay. initial mm. one, but then there was like a third of them that actually did well and thrived. Mm. And so they wanted to find out why and how. Mm -hmm. You want me to tell you? Please. Bring let, it. let me learn you. Okay, let's <laughs> so, go. So here's the things they came up with. One was a strong sense of friendship. Okay. Okay. So like, then we got to ask, how do you maintain a friendship, right? Doing stuff together, having experiences together, all the things that, that make up, you know, staying updated on each other's lives, right? Because you can get divided. One's mm -hmm. working, one's doing something else, both right. working, mm -hmm. you know, so. Mm -hmm. um, two was healthy conflict management skills because okay. you're going to have more conflict with yep. kids. So you got to manage that well. Mm -hmm. And then the third one was just approaching parenting as a team. Like mm -hmm. we're in the trenches together because it's easy to get in the like keep score thing. Right. Yeah. Who got more sleep last night? You know, who's had to do more baths? Uh, who's had to do more homework? Yeah, yeah. Who's had to, like, yeah. it's it's yeah. easy to start keeping score and be like, well, that's true. I'm doing more than you're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so those become the keys for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I like it. So it's just really keeping the friendship strong for now and trying to just stay consistent with that. So conflict, you know, I mean, I think we're good. We don't really yell as much. Remember we talked about that before? As much. So it's not, And when she know, says we, she means me. <laughs> right. Because right. Ma didn't yell. She no, yells. Right. Oh, we no. Not, both yeah, of us. No. Both of us get really, really loud. Uh, you but know, we're just passionate, you know, remember? Pa no. Oh, yeah, you passion. Call, you remember yeah, the call passion. It, call it what you want. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, just, just I'm just really animated. No, <laughs> yeah, you put right. your fists on people. I promise. That's, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I promise. I'm just passionate. Yeah. That's what it is. Listen, I've never had to ask Ahmad to use his inside voice. I have, however requested that Toya just let him get on the show your inside let, voice he yeah. needs to get on this mic so y'all can yeah. see him get excited and passionate he's been on this mic he's, he's been on the mic out. before you know what it is we have a really good engineer yeah oh, is that what it is uh, that's exactly we do that has to drop your voice when you get drop it passionate. all the time huh. Huh. Uh, anyway gotcha oh one more word so though yeah um so speaking of the Gottmans didn't they come up with this phrase empty nest syndrome I don't know that's okay. I'm ready so, for that syndrome. Yeah. I'm ready to be that no, sick. No, you don't want that, that it. Is no, called, I want it. It is called empty nest celebration <laughs> at our <laughs> house. <laughs> well, there you go. So empty nest syndrome is what? Exactly what we're talking about. When the kids leave. Like you don't know what to you're do. Like you, you don't, yeah, you look at each other like he's over there. I'm over here. I really miss my, my kids and I just can't. I I, I'm you. bored. I don't know what to do. And it's like, you know, you got to refresh. Just refresh. Right? So what do you what do you think about this? So I, I've talked to some couples where this has never been a problem for me because I mostly would rather vacation without the kids. Yeah. Right. For me, vacation with the kids is not vacation. Work. It's work. Yeah. It's True. something for them, but it's work. And so I'm always like, bye. Mm -hmm. Right. No, they've had enough vacations. Yeah. Jill will advocate for more because she's more considerate and caring. Because <laughs> when I'm gone, when I'm gone, I don't yeah. have kids. Oh. Out of sight, okay. out of mind. If I'm on vacation. Right. I'm not thinking no, about I get the kids that. ever. No, mm. I get that. 
now oh, when we're on that. vacation, my wife is. I hope they're having a good time. Right. Who cares? Right. Who cares? Right. We're just enjoying ourselves. Yeah. But I have talked to some couples where there's been a point of contention because one of them thinks that they should always vacation with the kids. Basically thinks that we shouldn't leave the kids at home. That's mm-hmm. not fair to them. We want them to experience it. Um, what do you think about that? Hmm. No, I think that you definitely need to have uh, vacations without the kids. And I'm actually like you, Eric. When we're away, because Mason is either with my mom, Ahmad's parents, or really close friends, one family. So it's just three people. And if he's left with them, you know, sadly, yeah. I, I'm not. Well, it's not sad. I'm just oh, not thinking no. about him. Yeah. I, no. I, I know, you know they're safe. Good. You know they're getting right. fed. He's having We're fun. Good. So I'm oh, like, yeah. why Why so, would I think so about it? So who was it that said that they wanted to bring their kids to experience? Well, I can't divulge that. No, I know. It but was the it, husband. It, it, was a, it, was a, it was a couple you know? Yeah. And they have kids? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. How old are their kids? Young. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Aww. The older they get, the more they want. <laughs> right. <laughs> so right. you're stressed out on vacation going, it's going to cost how much? Right. We got to eat where? Right. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So no, we'll see. We'll later. see. Yeah. We'll you're see right. if it changes. Yeah, but yeah. I do know there's people that, that that's a worry. Mm. Um, but I think making sure if you want a marriage that outlasts the kids, mm-hmm. you have to have Alone. a marriage that exists without kids. Yeah, for sure. At times. Absolutely. That was yeah. simple. Right. I mean, and that's, that's the difference in parenting style. So mm-hmm. like, you said you and Jill have parenting styles. Yeah. Have you ever thought about different parenting styles in other countries? I have. I have, too. I have, I have oh, not. We're going to see how well Toya has. Oh, oh, my goodness. She just so, said I yeah. have not. So, <laughs> so, but here's so here what that go. is. It's really Toya knowing. Because when Jason starts asking probing questions, <laughs> you know, we, we know, know it's always a lead-in to right. whatever he's Yeah, because normally I really got. don't care, right? And, yeah, saying, yeah. Right. Otherwise, he's not. He's checked I'm just, out. I'm, I'm just like, here for the free water. here for the free unnamed water, generic water. But Toya, so Toya knew... Here comes another loss. Yeah. And so she's like, no, I've never I've never even thought about that. She's that way she's lowered the bar so low okay. that so listeners now move. have no expectation. I like how you analyze this whole thing just It's now. a good move. Like, it's a good move. Down. Well, let's see how so good you she did. does. So you, you sent us some stuff. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So this is a okay. list of countries, and these are just different right. parental things going okay, on so in other we, countries. Okay, so we got a list of countries. Yep, I'm going to give you some. you're going to give us some. Scenarios. Parenting scenarios. Yeah, yeah. And we have to guess which country Got to guess the country. Okay. You ready, Tony? good. You good? You need to drink a water first? I'm feeling good. You good? Let's go. A little foot rub, anything? All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Kids nap outside even in sub-zero or very hot temperatures. Hmm. Even in sub-zero or very hot temperatures. Yes. And they camp Kids. outside. Outside. Um, I'm going to go with... Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm just going to go with Russia. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That's That was the one I was yeah. leaning towards, but now, now I have to dodge somewhere else. I'm going to go Kenya. Uh, it is Norway. Ah. Norway, they are outside. We had to go cold because, you know. You but had to I go cold. Said the sub zero. You never know. Maybe there's a cold spell in Kenya. Yeah, mm. There you go. It could be the cold Bad spell choice. in Kenya. Yeah. All right, here we go. Norway, right. interesting. Mm-hmm. All right, so they start their potty training at nine months of age. Nine months? Yep. So you got to crawl over to use the restroom. Nine if you haven't learned months how to of walk age. Yet. I'm going to say Vietnam. Okay. Yeah, I'm going Kenya. Look at that. Toy is one up. We got some Vietnam going on. <laughs> we got some Vietnam going on. There you go. Wow. There you go. How about how that? I guess that real quick? Yeah. No. You saw, you saw um, my answer? Because answers? I saw, I, I know that in China, they um, will literally have their kids to just go on the side of the street. And they tell them, pull their, like when they're potty training, they don't hmm. find a bathroom or they Note don't do pull Note to self, don't they walk just, on the streets of China. Right? Yeah, no barefoot in China. So that's why China. I was thinking <laughs> no Vietnam. Okay. You okay. So you actually had some reasoning Look for at what's that. behind your eyes. All right, let's Look see how China. good. a little bit. Okay. Let's see how we got. All right. All right. So the, these parents avoid looking their babies in the eye. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Um, do not make eye contact. I'm going to Japan. Going to Japan? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Cause you know, you know how they when they laugh, they're like, Hee-hee. so I think I think they probably don't want to make eye contact. Ah. I'm I I'm I know it's Japan. Okay, well it is Kenya. Yes, you're right. It's Kenya. Oh, yes, so. I know it's Japan. Yeah, <laughs> I want it's Kenya, Kenya. I want Kenya twice, so, and then I backed off. So Kenya. the this reason is not my day. It's not your day. The yeah. reason for that is it's a power thing, right? Oh. They don't want the kids to think they have power. 
Oh, so, so they it's don't more about like, not allowing the kids yes, to look in so their it's, eyes. Yes, so it's that mental oh, thing. If you told me that, I would have guessed. Yeah, I can't, I can't divulge too right. much. <laughs> <laughs> divulge too it. much. All right, yeah. All right, these parents leave their kids on the curb while they go shopping. On the curb. I actually saw a picture of this. There were lined up strollers on a sidewalk with nobody around. That is awesome. I like it. Yeah, um, crazy. Central Africa. Not New York. Ooh, I'm le- yeah, yeah I'm leaning... Danish. You know what? It's Danish. We are yes, one boom. one. All right, we're coming mm. up. We got to do some yes. tie breaking pretty soon. That's right. All right. I'm so, as young as four years of age, these parents let their kids go out by themselves, like even on the subway, traveling. Wow. Yes. Four years of age. As young as four years of age. Brazil. Okay. Mm. Japan. You know what? Eric just won. Mm, Japan. Boom. What a surprise. Look at that. Eric wins <laughs> he again. He pulls it out with pulls the it out. last we one. We don't have to. When, that you know was, what? You know what? It's over. You know what? It's, we it's we need to switch up the show intro. No, Toya, we don't need to do It's Toya. That. I'm here with Eric and Clutch. <laughs> Clutch. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You mean Jason and Jason Clutch? Jason and Clutch, yeah. yeah. Jason yeah. and Clutch. There you go. Boom, look Good at that. Good job, All right. Eric. Toya felt like Good she had job. the lead. I came back. It happens a lot. It happens. You're not the only one. We don't one. have to talk about You're it. You're not the only it one. It happens. So we I like it. Let's talk about it. Let's, so so yeah. here's here's the deal with, um, I think par- part of the deal with trying to build a marriage to last is realizing all the dynamics that change, right? Mm-hmm. So when kids come in, it's not just like the normal stuff you think about is, yeah, it's just work, less sleep, all that kind of stuff. Right. But the reality is kids change the whole family dynamic. Right. Then you start getting in-laws, siblings, aunts, uncles, you know, all these other people are more involved in your marriage than right. they used to be because they're like, oh, sweet old Johnny over there, you know, we're <laughs> right. going to be a part of it. So so the whole dynamic change, right, all that kind of stuff. Then you got, right, sex and intimacy declines. Mm-hmm. Sure. Little kids knocking on your door. Right. Right. Yeah. Or yep. you're too tired or yeah. you're distracted or, you yeah. know, I'm like, dude, the door's locked. Right. Let them scratch and knock all they want. They're not, <laughs> yeah, getting, they're not getting in, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, but some people. Some people think they got that's a, distra- they think that's a distraction. Yeah, it might be a distraction. Yeah, I don't, yeah whatever. So then you got to, now there's a whole new game of how do we fairly divvy right. up and navigate roles and responsibilities? Mm-hmm. Like who was yeah. up last and who did this mm-hmm. first? And, you know, you, you got all these things that you got, start keeping score on this you never used to. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think that you got to realize that whole, all that stuff changes. Mm-hmm. So you yeah, can't, sure. we talked about being consistent, right? So you talked about having a date night, mm-hmm. making sure we got time alone, vacations alone, mm-hmm. just basically are we prioritizing our relationship but you also got to look at all those other dynamics because a lot of that stuff does not exist prior to kids. Mm-hmm. That's and true. if you're not prepared for, we got to look at things different. Yeah. Then you're going to be like, where'd this come from? Uh, that's true. I mean, the the bedroom's easy. Just turn up your Luther. Turn up your Luther Vandross mm-hmm. a little bit louder. You never yeah. hear the kid. Marvin Gaye. Whatever, whatever yeah. is your go-to. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Just turn that, turn that Just up. Just turn that up, baby. Be like, Just oh. And then tell the kids <laughs> that, you know, yeah. turn up the music when we're dancing. <laughs> Dancing's a way to put it. Dancing. Sure. I like so. it. That's good. <laughs> I, it works. You, you, need, you need to. So we had some friends years ago where um, they had their door closed and they yeah. were having mommy and daddy time and, mm-hmm. and their youngest daughter <laughs> was when later when they came out was like, I was concerned because <laughs> I came by and I, I heard a woman in distress. <laughs> That's what she said. No way. She said, I heard a woman in distress. Yeah. That was the last time they had sex. Yeah. And it was over after that. So, um, you know, I had all kinds of thoughts on what the distress was. Yeah. uh, That's a different show. But, um, yeah. So, you know, you might want to turn some music on. There you go. But I think you got to prioritize that. You got to prioritize dating. You got to prioritize the friendship. You can't can't allow that. The kids will absolutely demand your attention mm-hmm. especially because yeah, they they have to need you to do stuff right yeah right um yeah. at least at certain ages so i think you just got to prioritize it mm-hmm. yeah and i know something else we've been actually actively doing now is kind of just reflecting on our past together um like looking at wedding pictures looking at listening to music that we liked back then when we were dating um and also now like my taste buds have changed you know so like when we were first <laughs> When we first got married, I didn't really eat ice cream. I wasn't a really big ice cream fan. And now I can have ice cream like once a week. (laughs) So that's like a treat, you know, or just different things. 
is don't really no pertain to what yeah today's because show. you're Talking you're still here, you're still yeah. growing and okay. getting to know each other instead of saying because what what could happen is ten years can go by or Prince graduates and leaves the house and Ahmad is like oh you eat ice cream now like oh let's okay we can we should have been doing that or oh you like you know um pho now you know like let's go eat that I think it's pronounced pho. Pho. <laughs> is it <laughs> just, <laughs> just offended all of Vietnam. I'm sorry. The, it's the, good the though. The one you picked hey, earlier. It's you good. Just offended. It's good. I'm sorry. But anyway, so yeah. So that's just a part of like keeping things fresh that we're actively doing right now along with is, everything you're saying. So, okay. so what I hear you saying is part of making sure you have a marriage that outlasts the kids mm -hmm. is evaluating your taste buds. That's part of it. Okay. okay. That's something that can right. change over the years. You heard it here first. If you don't know what to do in your marriage, evaluate your taste buds. Change them. And interests, yeah. hobbies, all sure. of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's pho. That's what we also it's learned. Pho. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is so yeah. funny. Yeah. Oh, Toy, man. Toy, Toy has a unique gift of shutting, her, yeah, shutting yeah. down a show yeah. with... <laughs> Whatever well, she brings in have, that seems like it doesn't fit, um, and then we have to try to make it fit. Through the episodes, so, we've it, learned she's not hooked on phonics. She's works. never been hooked on phonics. Yeah. It works. No, 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 I was no, right no. with so you. So you. you're adding faux to nitbits and <laughs> yes. some of those other All the other, Oh, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. you're adding to your list. Uh, uh, yeah. Just no, just you're, you're adding just wait to for your the best list. of. He's just You'll hear track. it. You'll hear it. No, yeah, so, okay, so on this, though, but you're also... So you look at it, too, as you're training your kids when they're younger, mm. right? So you're not just trying to get this marriage thing on, yeah. but to outlast the kids, you kind of have to train them at an early age. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a friend that when their kids were in high school, they knew when the door was closed. Okay, this is this is their time. We're going to go do our thing. So, mm -hmm. I mean, That's but true. they trained them young. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. You That's train. important. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's it only takes one time. A barging into mom or dad's <laughs> room and seeing one of your parents unclothed yeah. to go, yeah. I'll never do that again. Right. But didn't we talk about once you guys painted or something, right? On some show where they did stuff for fun. Her and Ahmad painted like... Like, we said that was something you could do. Oh, okay. Uh, there wasn't naked yeah. painting body, and body and, paint. If you oh, okay. do body paint, though, and just maybe make sure the Mason. kids just aren't home that night. Okay. Just let's just be safe. Yeah. Okay. Or just do ice cream now that you like ice cream. <laughs> It's safer than yeah, I guess it's safer. tribal painting. That's true. I guess so. So. Exactly. No, that's good. I think yeah. that, that's the key. So prioritize the relationship. Make sure you're minimizing opportunities for the kids to cause conflict and division. Mm -hmm. Get on the same page. And that all goes into, you know, hopefully most parents are yeah. already getting on the same page with what is discipline like, what does house rules look like, what are consequences, all that kind of stuff. Because if yeah. you don't come up with a plan, you try to do it on the fly, yeah. I promise you what you both uh, think on the fly is probably not going to line up. That might be something to talk about early. Yeah. Like before marriage. But a lot maybe? of people don't. Because no, I remember we went through not. the whole adoption process. Mm -hmm. You had to you had to list all that. I mean, we had questions on how would you discipline? How would like you had to when I, we went through all the list of questions. You, I was like, every parent should have to do this. Yeah, for sure. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you don't talk don't about we? it. Yeah, you're not sitting around going, "What would we do if they break curfew? Yeah. What would we do if they?" We should have pre-parenting councils. Yeah, yeah, pre-parenting classes. I mean, you got to do should. that if you do foster or yeah, not. exactly. That should be for everybody. That's mm -hmm. a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think you should have to go through that before you buy birth control. Ooh. how about that? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Like it, or maybe. Before you're four years old on the subway in Japan by yourself, oh you my get a goodness. little parenting class. Because if you're rolling around by yourself, you never know. Mm -hmm. Never know. That's true. So, awesome. Like and if you want to check out any past episodes, check out number 143, Are You in a Marriage or Roommates? And Ooh. then check out episode 109, I Don't Recognize My Spouse Anymore. Ah. She likes because they like ice, ice cream, cream now. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Who are you, Ben and Jerry? What is oh going on goodness. over wow. here? So thank you so much for joining us on the Relationship Shop. And we are out. Adios. Adios.